it is time for the Marvel previews for September, which most of it will come out around December. Fun little Doom cover there going on. Okay, let's jump to our first page here. We got West Coast Avengers. New group of characters working this thing. Got some interesting little images here. This is done by Gary Dugan and Danny Kim. Ultron Returns. Redeemed. Iron Man and War Machine have put together a new team of Avengers. One that includes villains seeking a path to redemption. Their case study, Ultron, who against all odds seems to be walking the straight and narrow, for now, but does the success of one guarantee the success of all? Spider-Woman and Firestar have their doubts, and can any amount of heroics really absolve Ultron of his past? I have a feeling this crew of characters might go bad, maybe. For a while and they'll have to rebound but yeah is that all the imagery yet yeah, no page showings okay we got kahori reshaper of worlds number one by ryan little and more the breakout character from the disney plus what if show makes her comics debut the mohawk warrior warrior kahori fell into sky world and into our hearts from her first appearance, fighting invaders to her home. She's already helped save all of reality from a demented Doctor Strange, and secured peace in her own world. So what now? Uh, this is featuring exciting guest stars and the comic debuts of some extraordinary cre creators, Marvel Voices brings you an extra special anthology celebrating indigenous heritage and one of the most exciting characters to emerge from the MCU. I know the white what if storyline was pretty interesting. I enjoyed that on Disney Plus. And they weren't super great, but they're all right. I think there was like one that I really enjoyed. The rest were so-so. We got our next club pick for the Crimson Call Comic Club. What if Minnie became Captain Marvel? This is done by Steve Bealing, Bailing, Luca Barberi, Giada Parasonato. What is the secret past of Minnie Mouse? Inspired by Miss Marvel, Volume 1, Number 1 to 4, our story finds the Chronicle newspaper reporter Minnie Mouse tasked with an expose on, new, on a new hero on the scene in Duckburg. Captain Marvel, or Captain Marvel is the new hero, <laughs> but Peg Leg Pete, Scorpion, complicates her plans with an attack on the Chronicle building. To make matters worse, John D. Rucker Duck and the Beagle Boys attack Scrooge McDuck's money bin. And when Captain Marvel shows up to stop them, Minnie discovers an incredible secret about her past. What is Minnie's connection to Duckburg's sensational new hero, Captain Marvel? So here we got a variety of covers. I'm almost thinking, and I do like the cover A. Eh? So I'll probably go cover A, but I, that Peach Momoko cover is pretty nice too, but Phil Notto, 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 Notto cover is pretty awesome also, but I don't know, I think I'm just going to go with the cover A for me. Jump a couple pages here as I pick cat hair off me. Got Psylocke number one. I thought we already did a Psylocke number one, but I guess not. Done by Alyssa Wong, Vincenzo Caradu, and the variety of covers. She was made for violence. Trained to be an assassin since birth, Quanan chose to be an X Man, but there are still some jobs too dirty for the X Men, and some paths have to be walked alone. 
When the mission is brutal, Psylocke unsheaths her blades to punish those who prey on mutants. Exploding out of the pages of X-Men. Yeah, it's it's Psylocke. Uh, <laughs> jumping quite a ways now. We got, oh, this one I'm picking up. I'm so happy about. Because <clears throat> I love this character in the movies. That's all I really know her from. And her girlfriend. But Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Number one by Andrew Wheeler, Car Carola Borelli, Eleonora Car Carlini. Spotlighting the lovable punk. Ellie Feimeister is under arrest. When the Time Variance Authority accuses Negasonic Teenage Warhead of a crime she has yet to commit, she'll have to go on the run to stop herself before the TVA does. It all comes down to a single moment in time. A choice future Ellie must face, which means now Ellie has one hour to find Yuki Ohara, her girlfriend from the future, who she's never met, kiss her, and save the multiverse. Good thing she has allies like, wait, no, Deadpool is not going to be helpful? Is anyone else available? This collects the hit web series, Marvel Voices, Infinity Comics, Negasonic Teenage Warhead, number 44 to 49 for the first time in print, plus a brand new story by the returning creative team. So they obviously got a bunch of digital Negato Negasonic Teenage Warhead stories which I'd rather have a different one than a time-traveling one, but I'll take it just to get to read something about the character. That makes me happy, and her girlfriend's in it, which is awesome. I like her. Also, they're a lot of fun in the Deadpool movies. So now we're jumping over to... Ooh, this is another one I'm picking up. Can't wait. Glad. Even though it's a Venomore, an ongoing series thing, I don't care. I gotta get it. It's Jeff. <laughs> Venomore, It's Jeff, number one, by Kelly Thompson and Gura Hero. What's eating Jeff? And what's Jeff eating? That's right, the crossover event of the summer finally reaches the real star of Marvel Comics, Jeff the Land Shark. When Jeff's night of fun is interrupted by the madness of the Venomore, is Marvel's goodest boy going to be able to keep his cool? Or will he give in to the symbiote's temptations and eat someone's brains? I mean, you give Jeff the land shark with his unlimited stomach and you add a symbiote to it, and we could end up having the whole planet eaten by the end of this story. Who's the goodest good boy? Huh? Who's the good boy, Jeff? <laughs> My cat's like, who the hell are you talking to? Alright, let's see here. Ooh, now we're doing a big jump. This is like 30 page jump here. It's like I said, Marvel, I was really surprised didn't have a bunch of new new issues in it, as it usually does. Jeez, are we going to get to, get to where I'm trying to get to here? Alright. Yeah, Star Wars... The Battle of Jakku, Republic Under Siege, number one, by Alex Segura, Stefano Raphael, and Jethro Morales. Still reeling from the events of Insurgency Rises, Luke must seek out a relic that could hold clues to the future of the Jedi Order. Luke Skywalker and a new friend find themselves cornered. Can two Imperial powerhouses find common ground against an ascent? New Republic? Where are Han and Chewbacca? The heroes find themselves saved in the nick of time by a fan favorite guest star and ally. Bet you I know who that is. <laughs> Alright. Another big jump. Two. Deadpool. Deadpool and Wolverine Exposed. Photos from the set. If you want any photos from the movie, this is great for fans of the new Deadpool Wolverine movie. And you get all kinds of pictures and stuff from that. 
in there and it also gives you some information on the filmmaking process and stuff but yeah that's great for fans of the movie give you some images from it and we're jumping over since we didn't have no new number ones we had to check out some of the trades in the back <coughs> excuse me sorry about that right right at the microphone that wasn't good we got Doom Treasury Edition, Trade Paperback by Jonathan Hickman and N.D. Stevenson. This is collecting Doom 2024, number one, Fantastic Four 1998, number 583, and Runaways 215, number one. With all the Doom stuff, I figured some people might be interested in that. We got Marvel Multiverse Role Playing Game Spider Verse Expansion. I'm kind of curious about this because I bought a Deadpool one. I thought that was the same as this thing. And this price jumped big time from the Deadpool one. So I don't know if this is the same thing or not. <clears throat> Let's see. This is written by Matt Forbeck, Marty Forbeck, Matt Manning, Kevin Dilmore, and Dayton Ward. Penciled by Rauri Coleman. Doesn't really say anything about artwork. Uh, web crawl your way across the web of life and destiny. The Spider-Verse ex expansion takes you deep into the life of Marvel's most iconic superhero, Spider-Man, and all his variants and villains from throughout the multiverse. This expansion to the multi Marvel Multiverse role-playing game gives you new rules for creating Spider-Heroes of your own, along with a deep dive into, the all, into all the Spider-Mythos. Explore new ways to build compelling supporting characters, new rules to handle symbiotes and clones, and how to deal with your biggest foes like the Sinister Six, plus new equipment and dozens of new characters, including Carnage, Chasm, or Chasm, Spider Ham, Spider Man Noir, Advanced Suit Spider Man, from Marvel's Spider Man 2 and more. So yeah, I mean, I want to check something out. I got, I think I have it right here. Yep, I do. See, it's Deadpool role plays the Marvel Universe. And it's a Marvel multiverse role playing game. One shot adventure. So this is an expansion off the main game, which I don't remember even knowing about that main game. I was thinking that the Deadpool one was just a whole new thing all by itself and I was surprised by it but apparently not apparently they're doing this with all the different characters so if you're into Dungeons and Dragons and superheroes this is definitely a thing for you the Deadpool one was pretty cool and I didn't play the games I just checked it all out but yeah it, it was pretty cool how they laid that out I like that it's something I'd definitely play if I had some friends that played the D&D &D and <clears throat> got together and decided to try it I'd, I'd try that with them but looks like that's the last thing in here so yeah Marvel didn't have too much new stuff kind of surprising so hopefully you found something you can enjoy keep following under the color of MS subscribe like rate review help us out and we will come back with more of these sometime soon so take care and keep an eye out, and we'll be back. Bye.